onye anọrọ mgbe eni lozu opoti bozu oje bido nokwu we bobozu if you were not there when a corpse is being buried when you are asked or when you want to dig up the corpse from the grave they will start digging from the leg this is an adage this is an adage and only the wise will understand this adage my name is omar and i'm glad to have you on this channel today if this is your first time of joining you are welcome if you've been an old subscriber i appreciate your presence thank you all right today i want to tell you something that you don't know religion is not spirituality you can be religious but you're not spiritual yes being religious is not being spiritual being religious is believing that which is passed on to you not by choice but by mandate from your parents it is possible that when you become an adult and you decide to adopt yours you can change the narrative and decide to move to another religion religion is whatever it is that you've grown up to meet your parents doing you join them religion is a culture yes because if a child is being birthed in a family and that child there are so many things that is being inculcated into the child including the pattern that the family prays the pattern that the family eats and the way that the family do their things let's take for instance a mother that gives birth to a child and says by 12 pm this child will take his or her lunch in the morning by 6 a.m the child eats breakfast and in the night by 7 p.m or 8 p.m this child will have to take his or her dinner it's a pattern this does not mean that the child cannot have his or her meals at any other time of the day and even if the child decides to deviate from the pattern the child will not have a problem but because this is how the child has been brought up it becomes a part of the child it becomes the child's way of eating this is also applicable in religion if you grow up and you've met your parents to be Catholics, they make you to do your baptism, your confirmation and the rest. It becomes your pattern of worship. Most times it's difficult for you to leave that pattern, to try other ones. Sometimes it becomes your own way of life. I've seen people who said that outside their own religion outside their own church you cannot they will not marry from another church it is their own culture and these things were passed on from their own mother from their own grandparents to their own parents and to them and you will still do the same to your own children our forefathers have their own way of worship they have their own school of thought they do not believe in reading what is written in a book without putting into work. 
This does not mean that in any way they disagree with the Bible. They didn't know about the Bible. They know nothing about it. Now, if you were given birth to in a Muslim family, you must be a Muslim by birth. If you were a Christian by birth, you will also continue to be a Christian. Hindu, the same thing with every other religion in the whole world. But the, your ancestral way of worship remains the same right from time immemorial. They have their own school of thought. They believe in connecting to nature, having a connection with nature. They believe in herbal healing. They believe in connecting to the elements of nature. They believe in connecting to your chi, your ndi chi, that is your ancestors. They believe that those that discovered the food we eat today those that discover different types of soups that we are enjoying today, we have to acknowledge them. This is what gave birth to the to the this is what gave birth to the origin of ancestral acknowledgement. Whatever it is that people do not understand, they target evil. Our ancestors are not evil. Our ancestors are not evil people. Our deities, ancestral deities are not bad. The only thing that makes them bad is when you make a promise and you don't fulfill it. That which is bestowed to you from the creation of this earth is yours and it works wonders for you. My neighbor's child and my child, they are in need and I only have money for one person. Who do you think I will pay his or her own school fees first? Of course I will pay for my child. My child is my responsibility. My neighbor's child is not my responsibility, but I'm still going to help out of humanity because I want the child to go back to school. So I will settle my child and I will, I will devise a means of also settling my neighbor's child. But do you know the time it will take me to settle my neighbor's child? Do you know if it is going to take one month, two months, three months or even years for me to sort out that money since the money is not readily available. This is it. When you need something and you abandon your own ancestors and you are calling upon a foreign ancestor to help you, you will only be talking to yourself. You'll be speaking to yourself. Yes, because the one who, whom you came through their loins, they are also in the position to make it very easy for you. Now, do you imagine the ancestors you're calling? My ancestors know me. My ancestors, they don't know you. So when I acknowledge them, when I'm close to them, when I need something and I call upon them, they will answer me. They will disturb the creator of the universe on my behalf to settle me so that I will let them rest. If I pick my oji, my cola nut, my hot drink, my inzu, my edo, and start disturbing them, they will want to settle me so that I will let them be. Just as a child who needs to eat, if the child is crying, many people around will hear the child's cry and ignore. But a mother will never abandon the child when the child needs to eat. 
In fact, because of the bond between a child and a mother, the mother already knows the particular time that the child is hungry and makes the food available for the child to enjoy. That is what happens in spirituality. When you're practicing spirituality, just put religion aside. Religion will confuse you. Get close to your spirit guides. They are the sweetest. They will fight your battle in the spiritual and they will win in the physical. When you are doing something, it's always extraordinary. When you try to look for favor, many people will not be favored. But when it gets to your turn, it will just be happening for you without no struggle. Do you know why? Because you are close to your spirit guides. They are always there for you. If you talk evil against your ancestors, listen to me. You will become an ancestor tomorrow. Imagine how you're struggling now to make sure that your family, your children, they are all happy. And then you die tomorrow. After growing old, you die and they say you are evil. Thereby tormenting you in the spiritual realm. Making you less of who you are. And making you to appear evil. Thank you all for watching. God bless you all and see you guys in my next one.